Hi guys, I'm here with a a video that I wanted to do for a minute. Um, I have featured this in one of my hauls. It's a nice butterfly um, nail art that I got from Model One. And I wanted to see how you do it. And you need a air, a hot gun, air hot gun. So I already had one. They don't sell these on Model One. So you have to have your own to actually do this. I tried to find a YouTube video. I couldn't find one to save my life. And it's probably there. It's just that I'm putting in the wrong search thing or whatever. But anyway, I'm just going to go for it. Okay, I do have two nails that I'm going to put on. That's these right here. Very nice. And those are these Diva Doll Holographic Gel Polishes. Yeah, I got these a while back. And I'm going to go ahead and see which ones I want to do. I'm just going to go ahead and probably just cut something right here. I think you just cut it out. <laughs> uh, let's see what I, which one I want to do, guys. Um, I guess I'll try to do. I'll do a big one and a small one. I don't know how this would look on the nail. I'm sure you're gonna probably have to use these for a longer nails, but we'll see. I hope this is the way I'm supposed to do it. They didn't have no instructions. This is how it came, just like this with no instructions. You hear me? And I'm just going to try to go ahead and cut this the best way I can. It is hard to cut. Oh, my goodness. They have two parts to this. I'm sorry. They get, It's two of them. I'll leave the link below where I got this from, guys. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut this one. And I probably cut... Let's go ahead and cut this one, I guess. These are kind of big, so I want to see how they're going to shrink once you put the... Oh, that's kind of... They're kind of close together. Oh, now I just broke that one. I should get some smaller scissors, huh? Okay. Let me put that to the side. And we're going to work with these two. Um, just kind of cut this kind of even. Okay. Um, I ain't know what to heat this up with. So I just got this little towel right here. Hopefully it won't heat up that much gonna go ahead and put that one there I'm gonna try that one first and I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my gun um, I'm, I'm scared y'all y'all probably can't hear me because this is kind of loud so just bear with me and see if this works I know my heat gun probably have to get hot so let's try it. Ooh. Maybe I need some tweezers to hold it, huh? Let me get some tweezers. <laughs> Let's try this again, guys. This is going to make heat up my head. So maybe I need to go down on it. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know if this going to work. See if I can find something to keep it still. 
Let's see. Look at that. I don't see how it's going to stay still. How in the world am I supposed to do this? This not right. I don't think this is what you're supposed to do, huh? This is crazy. No instructions. Yeah, I got to find a video because this can't be right. How are you supposed to keep this still? It is acrylic because it is hard as a rock. But how you... That's not how they're supposed to look, huh? Oh, shriveled up like that. I wonder if you're supposed to do it on this side. It's no way. This this here, I don't know what this is. This is too hot to hold like this. I guess you're supposed to cut it kind of even and don't have all this right here. Okay, let's try it again. I don't know if you're supposed to have it on this side or you're supposed to have it on this side. So I guess she's supposed to put it on like this. This is not good. Okay, that's three down down a drain. Let's try one more. Okay, I'm gonna try it the other way. I did it, guys! But this don't look good. I guess because I held it down right here. But I guess that's how you do it. You gotta make sure you cut it in really good. Okay. Okay. Guys, I went through all this to try to figure this out. And I finally figured it out and this is how it looks. Ain't that stalling? So, I'm gonna go ahead and do another one for y'all on camera because I was like, I need to figure this out for real. So, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one out right here. But what you gotta do, you gotta really cut it exactly like the picture shows you so that um so that it will be nice and a clean cut when you blow it up okay i went through four of these things trying to get this okay i tried not to give up so you just want to cut it to where it's nice 
and trim really nice. Now with the antennas, I find it kind of hard to really cut really good around the antennas. And when you crack it, it will show. You see how I just crack it? It will show in what you're doing too. When you put that heat gun, this is very fragile. And you gotta have some fine detail scissors to get this right. Okay, and you can't blow it with the clear side. You gotta blow it with the dull side. So put these to the side. And you gotta get something real thin to hold it down. So I use this right here. I actually got this from a YouTuber. And what I did, you guys, I just held it down Just to hold it down so it won't be flying everywhere. Okay, you might can't hear me because I'm finna turn on the gun, so bear with me. And I think it takes about 10 seconds. And you can make them flat. You can make them, uh, keep them rised up. Look at that, guys. Ain't that pretty? Oh my goodness. Look at that. And this is the other one that I figured out how to do it. Oh my goodness, that is pretty. I kind of cut off the antennas on this one, but you can really see the antennas on this one. Oh, I do like it. Now, all I need to figure out is how to make the butterfly's uh, wings stay up. I'm gonna try this one right here. Okay. Gonna put that in the middle. At first I thought I wasted my money. Man. Okay, I'm gonna hold it. I right there. I'm gonna turn my hot gun on. Okay. Now that's sit up there. It sit up. But when it sits up, if you want it to sit up, they're gonna have like a little notch right there where you can put it on your nail like that. I think that's the reason. Oh Lord, where did it go? And I think that's the reason why it has this little nudge right here. So if it want, if you want it to sit up on the nail, it sits up like this on your nail. So you can have something flat to sit it up on your nail. But I still don't think it's cute enough to sit up on your nail like that. But I think that is the case with that. That's the only way you can get that to sit up on your nail if they have that little ridge right there, but it don't have that much detail when it does it like that. I don't think it looked pleasing to the eye when it when it, it doesn't have the detail. I'm gonna go ahead and try to flatten this out some more. Okay. Now I made it kind of flatter, but it's, I think I like them flat. Okay. 
Okay, I went a little longer and it still got a little raise to it. Guess you just gotta play with it. Oh, I think I like it now. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Now that is even more prettier. I think I'm gonna keep it like that because you got a little raise to it. It's really pretty, isn't it? You just gotta play with your hot gun. How long, how you want your shape of your, I mean your heat gun. I'm sorry, your heat, it's called a heat gun. And just play around with the heat with it to see how you can make it flatten or raise and stop. I think I like that. Now let's go ahead and see if we can attach this to a nail. We're just gonna use some glue to attach this to the nail, which I'm just gonna use some brush on glue from Mia Secret Gel Resin. Now I know on camera, y'all, see my nails kind of orange right here? I don't know, it's my um, cuticle oil. I put a lot of cuticle oil on me and it gets under my nail and you see it's not dirty, but it just makes my, my free edge dark. I don't know why it does that. I was thinking about the polish probably staining my nails, but I don't know. It just makes my, my smile line dark. So if anybody know, I'll get, I think it's the cuticle oil because I look in there and it's not dark inside. Yeah. And they don't look stained. It just looks so dark on my smile line. I don't know. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this nail here and I'm gonna apply that glue. I'm trying to see if I want to use this, this one. That's pretty, huh? But they don't have, they don't have no orange in there. This blue one looks nice. I might use both of them. Let's try it. And I know this is not for everyone that sticks up and they don't want that caught in your hair, hair, but some people actually like this. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my hands in. Let me get that blue. So it can kind of stay still. That is just too cute, isn't it? And what I'll do, I'll just probably put some gel around these corners right here so that it won't stick to the hair or anything like this and call it a day. See, I would just build it up right there so it won't stick, grab the hair. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do another one. Oh my goodness, I like accent nail and put some rhinestones on that. Let me go ahead and freeze that. That's kind of too dark for this one, huh? Maybe I need to put a pink one. Look at that, that came out so nice, it, huh? I'll put some rhinestones around that. Yes, that is really nice. You can go over these with top coat, but I like the matte look, which I think. Some 
some bling around there would look nice. Uh, I might just go for it before I cure the top coat. I don't know where to start, but I think I will. Okay. Sorry, I forgot to press record, but um, like y'all see here, I'm just, you know, going about it, putting rhinestones there, there, and everywhere that I feel that will make this nail look as uh, elegant as it is. Now, that is cute. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cure this. Start with this right here and see if I can get this. <laughs> Now that is gorgeous, isn't it? Okay. Where did I, where did I put that nail? <laughs> oh my God. Oh, right in my face, you hear me? Okay. Oh yeah, I think I like that pink. What y'all think? Got some glitter on there. Okay. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this one here. I think that's cute. Gonna go ahead and cure this. Guys, look at that. Ain't this lovely? That is pretty. I like this. I like it. You gotta put in a little bit more work if you got a heat gun, but it is pretty. I didn't put no um no shine on those butterflies, so I don't know. One shiny one and one matte one. Which one y'all think I should think I should do that one kind of shiny? But I think it looks nice matte. I don't know if they'll last washing hands and everything if it's not coated with something. You probably have to coat it with a matte or a gloss and whichever one you need to make sure that it's, it's okay. And that's how this one turned out. I think this is pretty too. I'm gonna go ahead and gloss this one and see how it turns out. Let me gloss this one.
Okay, this one is done. Oh, I like, I like. Yeah, it looks good. Glossy too. It looks good, matte and glossy. So I, I think, I, I think, yeah. Yeah, I think I like that glossy and matte right here. All right, guys. Yeah, it was a challenge, but I hope y'all enjoyed the video. That's a lot of bling on there, huh? <laughs> ah. I don't know if y'all can see it too good. All right, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Until next time, y'all have a smiley day. Bye.